Art is our treasure number six. Now, you might think art is similar to projects, the treasure number five that I spoke about being projects and activities and doing things together. But this is specifically different. I'm calling it art, full stop. Because of the fact that art to us, as far as our treasures and memories is concerned, fell into a different bracket. Because activities and projects was actually physically doing things, making things, building things, learning, growing together. Art, on the other hand, was very specifically take out that drawing book. We had a lovely drawing book we used, um, which is actually available through Oikos. I hope it continues to be for many years because it's another one of those treasures called Drawing with Children. So what we would do is go through the lesson, the next lesson in the book of teaching us to draw, including myself. So don't be afraid if you say, well, I can't draw and I'm not creative and I'm not the art teacher and I don't have those skills. Well, it doesn't matter whether you think you have them or not, because basically this is about being a family and learning and growing together. So I would take out the Drawing with Children book and I would do the lesson with my children. And the reason why this has become a treasure is because we can today now look at the results of our art lessons <laughs> when I, I don't know whether to call them lessons what we learned together at, um, while we were doing art every medium of art from drawing watercolors crayons acrylics all the different kinds of acrylics and including um, uh, clay and molding and building and that kind of art as well I, I put all that into this topic of art because of the fact that the memories we have from that and the results we have from that again it is a treasure to us today for us to sit down and look through those drawing books that the that the children did from their very elementary little sweet little um, chicken drawings all the way through to quite advanced illustrations of eagles so I'm just using birds in this instance but it really is a treasure to us today because we made time for it and we spend time on it so I'm, I'm really wanting to encourage uh, parents and families that are maybe not making time for these very, very valuable treasures that at the end of it all, you don't want to be sorry you missed out on having time to do the things that are actually, well, they're treasures to us today. And I'm speaking from my own personal experience, but I also believe that I'm speaking on behalf of others because of what I've heard feedback from, from parents and other moms. Those that do make time to do this are blessed. The children love it and they're building very, very fond memories and that is what they hold dear in the end. That is what is the, the treasure in their heart and in the children's hearts. Because, I mean, let's face it, if I sit down with my adult children now and we look through the um, academic books they've done and and we see, oh, look, you finished this. And yes, there's some value in that. They they learnt and they advanced and they, they grew in that skill. But, but the art books actually bring joy <laughs> because we have a laugh over the little pictures that they drew when they were really little. And, and then we also enjoyed to see the fruit and the progression of what happened with that, with that, those, those experiences. But you might not necessarily feel that art is of any significant value. But again, I'm here to say that that's not what we've experienced. We've experienced tremendous amount of broader skills being developed as a result of spending time on art, making time to spend in, in the area of art. It, you know, you're developing creativity in the children, which helps them in their adult life and expression. And one of the really valuable things that I discovered from spending very significant time in art is that I started noticing the children um, view the world a little differently, view what is around them differently, even when it comes just to shapes and lines and formations, not just that from a, like looking at it from an artistic eye, but even on a broader level, appreciating their creator that much on a, that much deeper level and, and appreciating color, nature, creativeness, and just noticing things that I didn't see them noticing as clearly before or as significantly before. We, you know, as, as we grew, went along the years of growing in this area of art, that's what I started seeing happening. And I believe that's of, of value. I, I, that's something that I treasure. I treasure that very, very dear. And maybe, maybe if you're going to have some time, more time to spend in art, you will also treasure it. One day, I, I do hope so. 
Just before I go off this last treasure, I'd like to add one last thing. Please don't be afraid of art. If you're sitting there feeling a little bit overwhelmed, oh, I'm not creative, and maybe you never had this very thing, this very exposure that I'm talking about. Maybe you didn't have enough time in your childhood to spend time on this. And this is why home education offers so, so, so many blessings, because there is so much help out there. You don't have to be afraid of a single thing. In fact, I've done a course on the top 10 fears to try and eliminate the fears, and one of them is this I'm not creative but please don't be afraid of it because there's so much help I mean with World Wide Web as it is today you can hop online and join an art school if you like an art class or learn how to do watercolors acrylics pencil charcoal whatever it is and you can learn with your children and it can be an exciting adventure together so please don't feel as though you can't do it because you can and I hope you will and I hope you will discover the treasure